They're just about set to kick things off out in the city by the bay. San Francisco, the stick, as the NFL on ESPN is ready to bring this one your way. Colts, 49ers, next. And look at all the happy tailgaters as they get set to cheer for the hometown team. Welcome, everybody, to San Francisco, California. I'm Dan Stevens. Peter O'Keefe is next to me in the booth. And, Peter, we've got a couple of offensive powerhouses down on the field. No doubt about it, Dan. We could be in for a high-scoring game today. Number 63 is certainly one of the better quarterbacks in this league. His team relies on him to make big plays down the stretch. And nine times out of ten, he does just that. He's not the only big-time player on that squad, though. Number 44 is just a great all-around running back. He's got speed, vision, jukes, power, a little bit of everything. A talented duo to be certain. They just might make the difference out there. Okay, Peter, we'll see how they do once the game begins. But first, the toss of the coin. The signal and it's we're ready. Right. Number 22 kicks it off to begin the game. Number 55 downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The 49ers get their offense on the field and will start this drive at their own 20 yard line. Dan, bunch of receivers out there. Defense is expecting that, and they go to nickel. Number 15 stammers the receiver and forces him to drop the ball. Incomplete. Number 42 sitting back there in the zone waiting for this one, Dan. Check it out. Yep, he forced the incomplete pass. That's great coverage. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. What's the counter? Second down, 10. 10. Ball, 40 yards, 20 yards. Lloyd goes in motion. Number 63 throws a bullet and it's knocked away from the receiver incomplete. Number 58 was the intended receiver. Number 44 with the coverage. Let's convert this one, 49ers. Come on, you can do it. Third down, one man down. All 41, 20-yard mark. The first on third and long. Number 63 fires this one over the middle and it falls incomplete. Number 24 shut down that pass perfectly. You know when you're sitting back in a zone like that, what you're trying to do is read the quarterback's eyes to get a jump on the ball. The defense stood up to that play and shuts down what would be a minimal gain anyway. It'll be second down. Payson gains three yards, and that will bring up third down. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Number 63 unloads this one to the left, and it's intercepted. Tackled at the 41. Number 15 intercepts the football. Let's take another look. 
That is a stellar effort on the part of the D. He's got his own all locked up tight. He knows how the play is going to go down. And that gives him the chance to step in and make a play himself. You can't you coach that. Boy, you that was a heads-up play to come you away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Colts are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at the 41-yard line. Number 88 goes in motion. Number 52 didn't hold that one in, and it falls incomplete. Number 52 had some room on the fringes there, but couldn't reel in the pass. Potential for some nice yards, but it falls incomplete. That will bring up second down. Second and 10. All 41. Number 63 dumps this one off the net. It is not reeled in. Incomplete. Number 72 did a tremendous job on that last play, guarding against the post pattern. That pass was incomplete. On second down, they tried for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Third down, 10 yards to go. No good. Incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Number 81 was the man on that play coming across the middle, but the ball couldn't find him. Incomplete. Third and long. They have a chance, but it's incomplete. Those are the situations where you want someone to step up and make a play. But no one did, and it will now be fourth down. Number 44 lines up to punt after the three and out. Number 44 takes the long snap and punts it away. The 49ers let this one bounce, but it will pin them deep at the eight. Number 44 angles this one nicely and puts it out of bounds and away from any potential return inside the 10. That's a nice punt. The 49ers stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own nine-yard line. Kaysen gets the call on first down and picks up a couple. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. Second down, Second just a single seven. receiver on the field. Number 81 tackles him behind the line of scrimmage. Number 81 targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. And I'll tell you, Peter, he made a great tackle there. He brought down one of the more elusive backs in the game. Well, you're absolutely right, Dan. But if there's one guy on this defense that can stick with the ball and make the play, it was him. No good. Incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Number 63 lines up in his own end zone for the punt. Number 44 to make the return. Number 63 gets the ball and punts it away. Number 44 at the 50. Stop at the 41. Number 44 racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Colts have a short field and will start this drive at the 41-yard line. Number 63 tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Number 63 knocked that pass down. And he made sure the only one to touch the football was him. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. 
63. Oh, the right side, and the reception is made past the markers for a first down. First and ten. ten. Ball at the 28 yard mark. Number 44 catches up in the flat and picks up four on the play. Number 44 had nobody on him. The quarterback saw it and got the ball to him. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Second down, and they line up with three tight ends. Number 63 zips it to the left sideline, and they can't connect. Incomplete. Perry closed in from the zone and forced the incompletion. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. He got in there and he smacked that pass away. Great deep. It seemed like the defense read that one from the beginning and they forced the incompletion with Rubble to be. Beautiful call by the D coordinator. It'll be fourth down. Fourth down and the field goal unit is on the field. Number 22 with the 41-yard attempt and it's no good. It bounced off the upright and then out. Number 22 joins the upright here. Let's watch this again. Well, sure, Dan, it's a little embarrassing, but you know what instant replay is all about? A player screws up, and it's our ratings grabber. The 49ers have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at their 32-yard line. Number 55 goes in motion. Hayson is his fourth carry of the game and will lose about a yard here. Number 24 targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. And he did a super job of lining up his man and then pow, taking him down. That's a great battle down there, Dan. This time the team Kaysen gets the call again and he gains about three yards. Number 15 had to leave the field earlier in the game, and now Susie mm. Kalber has a report. Mm -hmm. Susie? Thank you, Dan. After talking with the trainers, I found out that he's got a bruised sternum. He's working it out on the sideline here, and it looks like he should be ready to come back in soon. Back to you, Dan. Thanks, Susie. coverage incomplete that will bring up fourth down number 42 couldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet well the knee holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion that was a good call by the defensive number coordinator oh, it sure was perfect d for that situation and it will bring up fourth down number 63 gets ready to punt this away number 63 takes the snap and pummels this one deep Number 44 fields the deep punt at the 19. Left down at the 32. Number 44 returned for a few there, but after that gigantic punt, it was like tearing a single page out of War and Peace. It doesn't make much of a dent. The Colts will start this drive at their 32-yard line. Scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Number 63 rifles this one hard over the middle, and it's tipped. Incomplete. 
24. They then got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception. On second down, they tried for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Third down from the shotgun. He got in there and he smacked that pass away. Great deep. A nice defensive play will give him his second batted ball yeah, of the game. Yeah, great on, rebound. Number 44 lines up to punt after the three and out. Number 44 gets the snap and pummels this one deep. Number 55 fields it at the 24. Tackle at the 38. Number 55, returned for a few there, but after that gigantic punt, it was like tearing a single page out of war and peace. It doesn't make much of a dent. The 49ers haven't got much out of their offense recently, and we'll see if they can get back on track here. This drive begins at their 38-yard line. Boy, tags the missile and tries to get free. 20 at the 12. It will be first down. Lloyd tells why he's such a valuable guy to have downfield. He makes the catch, but then cuts loose for plenty more. You can't coach that. That's broken kind of a cold streak for him. The last two passes his way were incomplete. Yeah, let's see if he stays on track. First down, tight end to the left. Kaysen gets the handoff and heads left. Drag down at the five. Kaysen stayed with his blockers on that last one, and it paid off big time. You know, Dan, it's always good to have a wingman or two. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Lloyd goes in motion. running potential out here, Dan. Let's see how they use their backs. Payson stuck close to his blockers, but the play folded quicker than an over-caffeinated origami artist. Second down, goal to go. for the fourth straight time and gets the touchdown. Touchdown 49ers. This is a nice run here. And when you watch the replay, Dan, check out his field vision. Great job of finding space. He gets the TD and a little congratulations from his teammate. It's well deserved, Dan. Now the extra point. And the extra point is good. good. It's this one deep. Number 44 decides to take it out of the end zone. Three. Stop at the 27. Number 44 caught the ball in the end zone and had a big run out of it. Saying no to the touchback was a risk, Dan, but it paid off. Number 
The Colts offense has taken the field, and they have been having a very tough time passing the ball. They have another opportunity here as they start off at their own 27-yard line. Number 63 to the flat and Second and six. Number 44 passes number called on second down and chews up about four on the play. Three throws a heater right sideline and it's not reeled in. Incomplete. Number 63 played his coverage very snug, and as a result, the pass was incomplete. That was a fantastic job by the defense to stop what would have been a first down. I love to see big D on third and short situations. Fourth down, defenses love to hear that from the refs. Number 44 lines up for the punt. Number 44 takes the snap and pummels this one deep. Number 55 fields the deep punt at the 20. Locked down at the 32. Number 55 returned for a few there, but after that gigantic punt, it was like tearing a single page out of War and Peace. It doesn't make much of a dent. The 49ers offense takes the field, and they will start at their 32-yard line. has his number on first down and picks up number a couple. The ball carrier, number 32 with the tackle. Tack. And that'll do it for That's quarter the number one. The 49ers are out in front, seven to nothing. Second down and gains about three yards. Third down, two receivers to the left. Number 63, just right for this one, and it's complete at the 42. Okay, bring him up. Bring him out. We got the chains. No first, baby. No first. No first, baby. No first. Right down, baby. Yeah, baby. That's how we get it. Number 63 has been searching for a rhythm out there, and he's come up short, Dan. As you can see by these numbers, he's been having a rough day of it. So far, he's struggled to get 74 yards and no touchdowns. Kaysen picks up a yard on the play, and that brings up second down. Second and eight. yard yard Lloyd goes in motion. Number 63 unloads this to the right sideline and it's intercepted. Dragged down at the 44. Number 44 does a nice job picking off the pass there. 
He's got it, and he gets a little more with that nice little run back. Well, that's their second interception of the game, and uh, stingy is appearing to be the motto for their defense. Yeah, either that or give me the ball. The Colts bring their offense on the field and will start this drive at the 44-yard line. Number 62 rushes him behind the line at the 46. Number 63, it out oh, left side, oh, and it's caught just barely past the markers for a first. Number 18, tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Second down, three wideouts in the game. Number 63, throws a to the right side, and it's knocked away from the receiver, incomplete. Number 63 was in man coverage and played it pretty tight. Tight enough for the incompletion. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Closes his grip around you, you are not going to get free, regardless of how evasive you are. Not with that strength. With those guns, he could probably juggle bowling balls or wide receivers for that matter. Number 55, Fair catches it at the 12. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. How they turned the ball over leaps out at me, and you have to think that that could come back to haunt them. Turnovers are the most telling stat in the NFL. The 49ers were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 13-yard line. Mason picked up about seven, and that will bring up second down. Kaysen played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. Another run up the gut, and we've seen him take more than his share of carries there. He's definitely had lanes to run through. Yes, yeah, superb blocking up front, too. Number 82 goes in motion. Kaysen carries this one off to the right, and maybe picks up one on the play. Kaysen used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there, but they'll get another shot on third and short. Kaysen picked up the box seven, and they will move the chain. Kaysen played it smart back there by following his blockers and that allowed him to make some good yards. A big gain on third and they will easily move the chain. Perfect call for the situation, Dan. No trouble in getting the first. First down, two games in the game. Kaysen takes his 16th carry of the game and only gets back to the line of scrimmage. With the tackle. Pass is going over the Second and nine. Perry goes in motion. Takes it for his 17th carry and rambles for about five. Let's step it up. We got this. Number 63 puts his arm into this one and it's off incomplete. 
Number 55 looked like he had a solid catch there, and yet somehow he found a way to drop it. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Number 63 lines up for the punt. Number 63 takes the long snap and pummels this one deep. Number 44 takes it at the 20. Tackled at the 25. Number 44 got pinned deep by a beauty of a kick there, and by the time he looked up, there was nowhere to go. The Colts haven't got much out of their offense recently, and we'll see if they can get back on track here. This drive begins at their own 25-yard line. Number 53 makes the hit in the backfield at the 24-yard line. Number 53 was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. That's his second tackle so far. Bruce does a great job stopping the quarterback cold in the backfield. They lose a couple of yards, but it's the feeling of dropping the quarterback that matters. Right? It's so important to stop and appreciate the little things, like a flower or a rainbow or a, 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 a tortured face on a quarterback, for crying out loud. That will be two losses in a row. Great reads by the D on the last two plays. Number 63 throws a heater right sideline, and it's tipped. Incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Number 63 swatted that one away cleanly. The receiver didn't have a prayer in getting that. You know, as a team, they are batting down passes left and right. That is their sixth so far. Wow, great anticipation of the pass. Number 44 lines up to punt after the three and out. Number 44 gets the snap and pummels this one through. Number 55 fields the deep punt at the 33. Tackled at the 47. Number 55 took the sting out of that killer punt by picking up a bunch of yards on the run back. You can't coach that. The 49ers are looking for some separation before half and will start this drive at the 47-yard line. First down and will gain close to six. Number 32 with the tack tack. Second down, two Second wide down outs on the field. Ball at 41. Makes a terrific completion in double coverage here. Wow. Now that is one confident QB. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely. Great call by the offensive coordinator. And it will be a first down. First and 10. Ball at 26 yard line. Single back, single back. <laughs> Number 63 throws a bullet to the flat, and the reception is made for a pickup of maybe a yard. Number 50 with the tackle. Second down, one man back. Ball 25. Kaysen goes in motion. As well, past the markers for a first down. Time to make a play on the play. First and goal. Ball at the set. 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 
Jackson picks up a yard on the play, and that will bring up second down. Second down, goal to go. Kaysen takes the handoff and gets past the line. Tackled, and the clock will continue to run. Ground or air threat here. Let's see what they do, Dan. Kaysen gets past the line and gets tackled short of the marker. That will bring up fourth and goal. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Number 82, from 18 yards, and it's up through the goal post. Good. Number 82 has little trouble pooching this one through. Let's see it again. Yep, he knows that you aren't allowed to miss many of those in this league. For the first time today, they leave the red zone with only a field goal to show for. You know, overall, Dan, the defense has to be happy with how that one played out. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Number 82 kicks this one away. Got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Colts offense takes the field with the clock at 15. Number 54 goes in motion. Number 44 punches this one left of center and picks up eight yards on the play. Number, Number 52, administered a block on that last play like an O-liner. That's something you don't see very often. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short That's situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The 49ers enjoying the lead 10 to nothing. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? All right, Dan, we'll get back to you in a bit. But welcome, everybody, to the ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. A look at our halftime stats here, and boy, look at the difference in passing yards. The 49ers are winning because of it. Let's see if they can keep up their dominance in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Number 15 was in the right place at the right time, as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. 49ers midway through the first, the ball at their own 37. Number 59 emerged as a real weapon as he pulled one in here. A 50-yard play that set up a 49er touchdown. 49ers later on in the second quarter, Niners out in front by seven. Number 44 is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. The Niners have it again. Number 63 would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. That set up an extra point like 19 yard field goal. And that's where we'll leave this one. Niners are up at the half, 10 to nothing. And as far as my halftime hero, well, there's really no contest. Number 43 has taken over this game. So that'll do it from here. We'll send you back out now to Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe. Again. Thanks, Chris. And today's game has been presented in ESPN Game Sound, designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Colts get the ball first this half, and they could use a score right out of the gates to get back into this one. They currently trail 10 to nothing. Let's go down to the field. Number 82 boots the second half kickoff away. Number 44 decides to take it out of the end zone. Brought down at the 21. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Well, punting is not going to win you a game. Although it looks like they are trying to do that, they need to put a drive together and get into the end zone. Number 44 got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Colts offense has to score here. This drive will start at their own 21-yard line. Number 88 hammers the receiver and forward. 
forces him to drop the ball incomplete. Number oh, I love watching great plays like this again. It's great the first time around, but it's really sweet on the replay. Oh, I just can't get enough of this action. What a tremendous display of athleticism. Second and 10. Ball on the hook. 21 yards. Number 63 lobs this one way over the middle, and it's not reeled in. Incomplete. Number 63 was with the receiver all the way back there on that deep corner route and interrupted the pass. Incomplete. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Oh, let's watch this. Five wide out versus a D that is wisely loaded up on DB. Number 88 makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. That will bring up fourth down. Number 88 came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. Another batted ball, and they have been attacking the pass every chance they get. That's right, Dan. You know, why simply defend the pass when you can obliterate it? Number 44 gets ready to punt this away. <laughs> Number 44 gets the ball and pummels this one deep. Number 55 gets it at the 30. Drag down at the 41. Number 55, return for a few there, but after that gigantic punt, it was like tearing a single page out of war and peace. It doesn't make much of a dent. The 49ers come out on offense and are well ahead. They have yet another shot to score and start this drive at their 41-yard line. Lloyd takes the catch up to the left and picks up maybe a yard. That's completely... Number 59 with the tackle. Number 63 has had difficulties to say the least. And now he's second guessing everything he's throwing. Terrible day. So far he struggled to get 109 yards and two interceptions. Second down. Second down. Nine yards to go. Number 63 throws this on a rope. And it's intercepted. One man to beat. And he's in for the touchdown. Number 44 picks off the ball, and he's going all the way. Nobody can stop him. Man, I hope his mom's got the VCR going. Peter, you couldn't ask for more from him today. He has done his part. And then some. So far, he's got two interceptions. Number 22, Number 22 to attempt the extra point. point. Number 22, holding. Now the point after, the and point is it's good. good. signal and we're ready number 22 kicks it off number 53 fields it all the way back at the one stopped at the 23 number 53 was able to find some weak spots in the defense got a good run back off that kick Look at the numbers generated on the ground. That is impressive. play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Ben, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for your offense. Number 52 goes in motion. Casey <laughs> barges off right guard, and 
Chews up about four on the play. Second and six. six. Ball, 40 meters, 38 yard line. for a third time in a row and only gets back to the line of scrimmage. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Number 63 rifles it out left side and it's tipped. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Number 15 came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. It seemed like the defense read that one from the beginning and they forced the incompletion with relative ease. Beautiful call by the D coordinator. It'll be fourth down. Number 63 lines up for the punt. Number 63 takes the snap and punts it away. Number 44 takes the punt at the 20. Tackled at the 29. Number 44, racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Colts stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own 29-yard line. Number 63, throws a heater right sideline, and it's good for a gain of eight. Number 63 Number played the pass perfectly, zeroing in on his man despite the coverage. You know, it's all about accuracy in that situation. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short second situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Second down, and they line up with three tight ends. Campbell goes in motion. Number 44 gets the call on second down and picks up the first down. First, first down, down Colts. Colts. Here comes the counter. Comes first down, down. 10. 10. All the Colts. 21 yards. Down, Colts. Check, Colts. Check, Colts. Check, Colts. Check, Colts. Check, Colts. Check, Colts. Number 44. Loses one on the play. And that brings up second down. Number eight was shaken up earlier, and I, I hear Susie Culver has a report for us. Susie? Thanks, Dan. He came off the field complaining of lower leg pain, and the trainers are saying he's got a high ankle sprain. They're sizing him for a brace, but progress is slow at best. I've been told that his return is questionable. Back to you, fellas. And always good for the best here in the booth. Thank you, Susan. Owens grabs the rope right side and gets past the markers for a first down. First down from the on. Number 63 tips it to the left sideline and it's bobbled and dropped incomplete. Number 81 dropped the ball so fast there you'd think it bit him on the thumb or something. That's his first drop of the game, and while every drop does hurt, you can't throw too much blame on him for that one. That would have been a tough catch. Number 44 has his number called on second down and gains about three yards. Number 44 just hasn't gotten into a groove and isn't finding running room anywhere. This has been tough and he struggled to get 15 yards on nine carries. Number 63 throws a heater and it's tipped. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. 
on the 63. Got that pass down. And he made sure the only one to touch the football was him. A nice defensive play will give him his second batted ball of the game. Yeah, great read there. Number 44 lines up for the punt. Number 44 gets the snap and punts it away. Number 55 passes it back at the 10. Runs out at the 24. Number 55 made a puddle jumper of a punt look even punier with that nice run back. The 49ers have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at their own 24-yard line. Number 82 goes in motion. Mason throws right up the middle and gains about three yards. Number 59 with the tackle. Second and six. Ball 41, 27-yard line. Kaysen picks up about two, and that brings up third down. Kaysen stuck close to his blockers, but the play folded quicker than an over-caffeinated origami artist. Not a lot of room on that play. It will be third down. Third down with a split backfield. Number 63 rifles this one hard over the middle, and it's intercepted. Tackled at the 38. I'm coming out, I'm oh, coming out. Oh, okay. oh, 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 check out this replay, Dan. Watch the focus here. He's got it, and I must say that was some clever maneuvering to get into a position where he could pick it off. You can't coach instincts like that. Yet another interception for this defense, and they're making passing just about impossible so far. Absolutely. Great reads, great jumps on the ball, great athletes. It's all happening down there. The Colts had their last drive stall out at the end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at the 38-yard line. Number 52, yes, sir, sir. as this one Number flying off his fingertips, he's incomplete. The ball, the ball was placed in the spot of the foul. Automatic first down. Man handled that receiver back there like a puppy playing with a chew toy, Dan. And he rightly got slapped with defensive pass interference. First and 10. Ball over the yard. Down. Number 63, rifles it out left side. It's knocked away from the receiver, incomplete. Perry had superb coverage on that play. No wonder it was incomplete. Potential for some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up second down. Second down, tight end to the left. Number 44 takes his tackle carry of the game. Rambles for about five. Number 44 stayed with his blockers on that last one, and it paid off big time. You know, Dan, it's always good to have a wingman or two. They move the ball, and that'll bring up third down. <laughs> Number 63 throws a ball to the flat, and the ball is caught at the 26. Brought down at the 22. Carry with the tack. That will bring up fourth down. Perry just planted the ball carrier in the turf short of the markers. But the only thing that's going to grow there is the D's morale. That's his second tackle so far. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Number 22 kicks from 39 yards out, and this one is up and in. Oh, yeah, baby. Woo! All day, yeah, baby. Number 22 kicks the field goal, but watch how close the ball gets to the upright. Man, a few more inches and he'd have made the highlight reel. Not the way he would have wanted to, though. Number 22. Kicking on the There's the signal, and we're ready. Number 22. Booms a beauty here. Number 55 decides to take it out of the end zone. Tackled at the 24. Number 55 took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play.
The 49ers will start this first play of the drive at their own 24-yard line. Lloyd goes in motion. Number 15 pounds it in right side. That's a gain of seven on the play. Number 58 had a defender close by but was able to bring down the catch. Peter, I'm sure he's happy to bring that one in. The last three passes Second to him have all been in completion. Yeah, he's struggling a bit there, but this may turn him around. Payson will get stopped Number at the line, and the that brings here. up third down. Number 25 with the tackle. Tack. Third down with the tight end right. And they convert on third down. Number 63 really rifles this pass, and it's intercepted. Stop at the 43. Number 42 intercepts the football. Let's take another look. That is a stellar effort on the part of the D. He's got his own all locked up tight. He knows how the play is going to go down. And that gives him the chance to step in and make a play himself. You can't coach that. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Colts are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at their 43-yard line. Oh, didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. Number 56 with the coach. Number 63 knows how to spread the ball around, as you can see by this passing chart here. He's getting the ball into his receiver's hands and has piled up 53 yards and no touchdowns. Second down with two tight ends to the right. Number 63. Fires this one over the middle, and the reception is made past the markers for a first down. Number 63 completes a nice pass past the D on this play. It's worth another look here. Oh, it's all about accuracy, Dan, and there was only one guy covering him on that one, so it makes it an easy catch. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Oh, great execution. This one will fall incomplete. Campbell set up for the screen back there. He had blockers ready, but... <laughs> Forgot to catch the ball. Another missed connection, and even here in the second half, uh, the passing game is still struggling. Yeah, I would have thought halftime would have helped, but it doesn't look like it. Chases him and drops him back at the 46. 24 not only cleaned the ball carrier's clock in the backfield but buffed and polished it too big hit for a loss they forced that one backwards and that's going to make this third down that much harder yeah they also make it easier on themselves by wiping out all of the potential short yardage plays they might face third and long so three quarters in the books now and we're all tied Number 81 goes in motion. Number 24 picks it away on the coverage. Incomplete. It'll be fourth down. 24 came in and got a hand on that football. Left no chance for a reception. That's his third batted ball. And he is doing his part, that is for sure. Nice to see aggressive D like that, Dan. Number 44 gets ready to punt this away. 
Number 44 takes the long snap and punts it away. Number 55 catches it at the 11. Tackle at the 20. Number 55 did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. The 49ers have turned the ball over the past two times out. They need to hold on to it as they start this drive at their own 20-yard line. about four on the play. Second down, Second three wide six, outs in the game. Payson gets the ball, the head's left, dragged down at the 26. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. You're going to be all right, man. You're going to be all right. Relax. You're going to be all right, buddy. Come on. You're going to be all right. Come on. Come on, come on, Brian. Come on. Where's the... Let's take it up and all the street. Oh, 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 Interceptor. Right down at the 28. <laughs> Number 44 knows he doesn't have a shot at it unless he jumps for it. And man, he timed it perfectly. Could give his receivers a few tips about mid-air receptions. Another interception for his stats today. And I, I'll tell you, I can't remember when I've seen a defensive performance like this. This guy's rewriting history. The Colts start this drive already in field goal position. And they're going to line up at the 28-yard line. Number 63 throws a beauty to the right side. And it's incomplete. Number 63 did a beautiful job on that Number last play covering the post the route. That pass never had a chance. Incomplete. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Second down from the shotgun. Face mask, mask number, number 83. 83. Off of 15 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Oh, and First really down. yanked on that helmet back there. So the personal foul call was a good one. You can't pull someone's face mask like that. The 49ers have had real problems turning the ball over. They'll need to buck the trend on this drive, which starts at their own 19 yard line. Number 58 goes in motion. Payson carry on first down and Foley gets back to the line of scrimmage. Williams targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Another tackle and he's starting to fill up the stat book. He is dominating, Dan. So far, he's got nine tackles. Casey had a man playing him close back there, but he made a great move to get the catch. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, then. Big play coming up. Third down, one man back. Number 63. Oh, this on a rope. And it's knocked away from the receiver incomplete. Was the intended receiver. Number 63 ignores the zone coverage and still attempts to pass. A I guess he was hoping for a miracle or something. And he did not get it. It falls incomplete. Peter, they cannot seem to connect on the long ball. They've taken some shots there, but it, nothing is working. Yeah, their timing is off. They need to go to shorter passes. Number 63 lines up deep in his own territory to punt it away. Number 63 gets the ball and pummels this one deep. Number 44 fields the deep punt at the 33. Stop the 35.
Number 44 got pinned deep by a beauty of a kick there, and by the time he looked up, there was nowhere to go. The Colts were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their 35-yard line. Number 63 zips it to the left side. And it's intercepted. Tackled at the 32. Check out the interception here on the replay, Dan. Watch how he reacts to get in the ball's path. Nice. That's how you make the INT, baby. Well, that's their second interception of the game, and uh, Stingy is appearing to be the motto for their defense. Yeah, either that or give me the ball. The 49ers haven't got much out of their offense recently, and we'll see if they can get back on track here. This drive begins at the 32-yard line. Hayden pulls the line of center and will gain close to six. Second and four. Ball at the 36-yard line. Number 61 gets the sack way back at the 32. Number 61 set this offense back a few with that sack. You know, if there's such a thing as anti-momentum, they're feeling it. They forced that one backwards, and that's going to make this third down that much harder. Yeah, they also make it easier on themselves by wiping out all of the potential short yardage plays they might face. Third and long. Number 44 makes a play on this one and forces the incompletion. Fourth down coming up. Number 44 knocked that pass down. And he made sure the only one to touch the football was him. That is their fourth batted ball. Tell you, we've seen a number of good defensive plays from this squad. We sure have. We'll see if they can keep it up, though. Fourth down, 10 yards to go. Number 82 boots it from 49 yards out, and, and he misses this one to the right. Come on. Don't worry about it. Number 82 puts everything he has behind this kick, but it just doesn't happen for him. In all fairness, that's a pretty long kick. In fact, it, it, it's so far away, he may not even realize he missed it yet. You know, Dan, it may be time to get that prescription updated. They're, they're doing amazing things with trifocals these days. Watch it there, young fella. The Colts offense will start this drive at their 40-yard line. <laughs> 63 puts a leg on the receiver and separates him from the ball. Incomplete. Number 15 had to leave the field earlier in the game, and now Susie Calder has a report. Susie? Thank you, Dan. I managed to get a word with the team doctors, and they said that he has fractured his leg. Back to you. As always, we'll hope for the best up here in the booth. Thank you, Susie. Number 63 rifles this one hard over the middle and it's tipped incomplete. Number 63 is really struggling out there today. As you can see by the numbers, it's all bad. Up to now, he's got 67 yards and two interceptions. Third down, empty backfield. the catch. Another ball comes his way and another incompletion. To come up blank so many times in a row is well it's got to be demoralizing for a player. Absolutely but you got to fight through the slump and grab one to get rolling. Number 44 takes the long snap and punts it away. Number 55 heals the punt at the 18. Tackled at the 30. Number 55, racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. 
The 49ers haven't got much out of their offense recently, and we'll see if they can get back on track here. This drive begins at their own 30-yard line. Number 58, muffed an almost guaranteed catch there. And as a receiver, you have to carry your weight and make the play. They don't come much more catchable than that one. Not much success to be had on the right side for this passing game, Peter. They have been off over there. Yeah, I'd go somewhere else if I were them. Second down with the tight end right. Number 63, uncorks this to the left sideline, and it's intercepted. One man to beat, Sox out of bounds at the 14. Number 33, not only Shanghai's the football for the interception, but watch. Gets a few more after the catch. Great play all around. To react, make the catch, and then get some yardage to boot. You can't coach that. Yet another interception for this defense, and they're making passing just about impossible so far. Absolutely. Great reads, great jumps on the ball, great athletes. It's all happening down there. Number 52 goes in motion. Number 62 sacks him way back at the 20. Goes in unblocked and nails him to the ground. The O-line should be embarrassed. Watch this. Oh, yeah. Sacks don't get much easier than that. That'll be his first sack of the game. Goes in motion. Touchdown! And come on, give it up, baby. Number 81 reels in the pass despite nearly getting squeezed by two defenders. There's the catch and the double coverage. They really didn't phase him there. Maybe they ought to send in a third. That's his first touchdown of the day. And, and I think he's a guy you can count on to make those end zone catches. He sets a high standard for himself, and he usually meets it. Here's the point after, yeah, and point good. it's good. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Number 22, booms a beauty here. Number 55, decides to take it out of the end zone. Drag down at the 25. Number 55, got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The 49ers, offense is now on the field, and except for a few big plays, they really can't be happy with their passing game up to this point. We'll see what they call on this drive as they start at their own 25-yard line. Hayton gets yet another tackle for the day, and chews up about four on the play. Second and five. Oh, 49 yard Payton gains 10 yards on the play, and that will bring up first down. Nice gain on this baby. Look at him eat up the yardage here. Another run up the gut, and we've seen him take more than his share of carries there. He's definitely had lanes to run through. Yeah, superb blocking up front, too. Wow, those are nice stats. Way to carry the ball. Payton carries it for a third time in a row, and heads up field. And at the 
50. First down. Jason, that is set on the outside and up the middle here. He's making the defense pay for his flexible running style. So far, he's got 114 yards on over 30 carries. First down, two wideouts on the field. Payson barrels off his left guard and maybe picks up one on the play. Second and eight. Ball out of the Number 63 rifles it out left side and it gets away from him incomplete. Was the intended receiver? Number 63 has found limited success in the passing game so far, Dan, and he just can't seem to get into a rhythm out there. I'd say he's not very pleased with his performance. So far, he's got 132 yards and seven interceptions. Third down, one man back. Five. Pass, Pass interference, number 24. Defense. The ball is placed in the spot of the foul. Automatic touchdown. Man handled that receiver back there like a puppy playing with a chew toy, Dan. And he rightly got slapped with defensive pass interference. First down, the clock is stopped at 154. Number 63 gets all of his arm into this pass, and this one is incomplete. Number 58 had a chance for a mid-range completion back there, but he just couldn't connect. No catch. That's his third drop of the game, and that has to be frustrating. He's getting the passes, but he's not holding on to them. Yeah, strange. He almost always makes those catches. Whoa, look at all the interceptions there. Got a hand on that football. Left no chance for a reception there. They have really gotten after the ball as a team today. That is their fifth batted ball. Nice, aggressive D. Number 63 rifles this one hard over the middle. And it's tipped. Incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Number 33 came in and got a hand on that football. And left no chance for a reception there. You know, as a team, they are batting down passes left and right. <laughs> that is their sixth so far. Wow, great anticipation of the pass. Number 45 gets a hand on this one. Right there. That's how you play D. They had the right idea there, going for it, trying to put the ball in the end zone, but they couldn't convert. It was the right time to roll the dice, Dan, but this time the house wins and they turn it over. The Colts will start this drive here midfield with the clock at 1.38. The 49ers take their first time out. Second down, and they line up with three tight ends. Number 44, carries it off 
the top. The 49ers will take a timeout. That's their second. Third down. The clock is stopped at 1.28. The 49ers take a timeout. That's their final one. Loss of yards here, but they aren't too concerned about that. They just want to keep that clock moving. They'll take their sweet time getting this playoff, Dan. There's no reason for them to hurry the snap. Well, that loss will bring up third down, but they can't be too worried about it. They're still eating up the clock. Dan, I want to point out something on that last play. Did you notice the job he did in letting the play clock That's wind the all the way down before snapping the ball? That's good clock management. And that is going to do it for this one. The Colts come out on top, 17 to 10. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. All right, gang, great work as always. And with that, we welcome everybody back to the ESPN studios for our ESPN video games post-game show. I'm Chris Berman. The Colts stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Number 44 would come up with a huge play here as he was able to pick one off here, then had some clear sailing in front of him. Touchdown for the Colts. The Colts climb back again and are now down by three ball at their own 28. Number 24 would come up with a big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. The Colts, after getting an interception, Colts behind by three. Number 22 was called upon to attempt the field goal. This one, good. They nod it up, 10 all. The Niners on defense, number 42, shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. Game tied, 10 all. Number 44 is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. The Colts have it off an interception. Ball at the 29. Number 63 shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. Game tied, 10 all. Number 74 was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. The Niners on D, number 33, shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. Game tied, 10 all. Number 63 connected with his man on this one. A 17-yard touchdown for the Colts. And that's where we'll leave this one. Colts squeaked out a win, 17 to 10. Now let's take a sec to chat with our player of the game. The guy who seemed to be all over the field on defense and came up with big play after big play. Number 44 is on hand with Susie Culver. Suze? Thanks, Chris. You really came up big. You may have the ingredient your team needed to pull out a win here. What put you guys over the top? Uh, both teams came out ready to play today. Uh, luckily, we were able to come up with some you know, big key plays down the field, and uh, luckily, we came out on top. Back to you, Chris.